it. Don't be shy. Jolene can't wait to meet you for a trailer park Christmas. The trailer park way with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer. She's Jolene Sugar Baker. She is Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays the trailer park the trailer way. Park Merry trailer park Merry Christmas. Trailer park Christmas. Merry trailer park Christmas. Hooray! Well, hi there, trailer park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the trailer park queen, and welcome to the trailer park test kitchen. And welcome to trailer park Christmas 2018 where I'm showing you how the trailer park celebrates the holiday. Well, I have a calendar which you can print out and put on your fridge at trailerparkchristmas.com and I see today that it says, Give me a quiche. Well, after today, you'll be a rock star in the morning in case somebody stays over and you need a quick breakfast. Now, quiche is just a really fancy egg dish that you can make actually in a frozen pie crust. This is really simple. You can have it ready and uh, in just a jiffy. And I'm going to show you how and you can make it your own style too. So that's what's special about it. It's up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2018. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Next up, we're going to be making my quiche, and you're going to be starting to make those in the morning, and people are going to be like, who is that making those fancy quiches? And I've got a bowl here, and what we're going to do is add a half cup of chopped up onion. Today, I'm using a purple one, and you could use maybe the white or the yellow or the Vidalia, and I've got a, actually, this is three ounces of Parmesan cheese, and we're just going to mix that right on in. And today we are actually using about, um, let's see, five ounces of Swiss cheese. This is actually a mixture. This was on sale. This will work just fine. And this is already pre-done for us. That is great. And um, just a little bit too much there. Let's just take a little bit out, just like that. I'll use that a little bit later, like a topping. And I'm using bacon bits today. You can certainly make this vegetarian, um, or you can add any kind of other, maybe chopped up ham. What, what ham? Um, what would you add? Um, I've got um, bacon bits. Um, how much is this? Three ounces of that. Um, it's already pre-done. Um, I know I was lazy. It was on sale. And I'm just going to actually not eat this. This is the thing that says don't eat. You know they've got to put that on there because somebody did that at some point. And I'm just going to mix this around and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, I have the cheese and onion mixture here. And I have a nine inch um, frozen pie crust here. It's still frozen. And what I'm going to do is just spread out this mixture in the bottom of that. Just very, let's say, even here. And I'm going to be excited to hear what you all are going to put in your quiche because this is going to be one of your go to recipes when people stay over. And. I'm just going to see, depending on, you could get a deep dish one, and you could probably use all this nice uh, mixture, but what I'm going to do is just save a little bit here, because it looks like this pie crust might be a little bit smaller, and what I've got here is four eggs that I've beaten, and I've got a cup of half and half, and I'm just going to mix this real good together here. There we go, and what I'm going to do is... I'm going to pour this over top this cheese mixture here in the pie crust. And you could add some salt and pepper too if you want to. I do like to add that after the cooking because everybody has a different taste. And you don't want to over salt and pepper it for them. And I'm just pouring it right here over top the cheese mixture here. There we go. We don't want to overflow things. We do want it to soak down into that cheese so that we have an even amount here. There we go. Now it's all even on the pie crust. Now I preheated the oven to 400 degrees and um, we're going to bake that in the oven for about 15 minutes and then we're going to reduce the heat to 350 degrees and we're going to bake it for probably about another 35 minutes so you're going to have to set your timer a couple times so set your timer <laughs>
And there you have it, my easy quiche recipe. We use the bacon and the onion, but you can certainly use any kind of ingredients in this quiche. And you can really look like a rock star the next morning after Christmas and um, with guests that may stay over. And wow, it smells so good. And we use the different kinds of cheeses and you can certainly change those out too. And it's so simple with the frozen pie crust and um, it looks so fancy. People are just gonna be looking at you saying, wow and I just can't wait to try this. Wow, that has lots of flavor. Nice egg flavor. The cheeses are just perfect and the onions and mm, the bacon and that frozen pie crust, it might, you can pass that off as your own. Mm. People will be looking at you making this fancy quiche around the holidays with your own ingredients. I can't wait to hear what you're going to make uh, in it. Um, leave a comment down at the bottom. I hope you get a chance to make my easy quiche and if you do send me pictures at jolinesugarbaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to like or subscribe or whatever you have to do to check out my videos because there's a video every day until the 25th. Don't forget to download the free calendar at the um, trailerparkchristmas.com because um, you can follow along because I see tomorrow that there is another video and it looks like there is a dip. Um, actually, a cheese dip. I'm so excited about that. I love spending the holidays with you. Tell your friends about Trailer Park Christmas and I'll see you back tomorrow. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. Watch out for that.